All right, let's uh, say hello. Hello. All right, T today is Knob Day. <laughs> Don't get too naughty in your minds. These are headed toward kitchen cabinets. So, uh, yeah. I think there's another big flat one. Now I like these on um, the little taller. Let's see what we've got left. <laughs> That's way tall. Well, it does work. I don't have to break it down. So let's go ahead and um, I'll make a fan brush for that. Let's say hello. Hello. Have some tea with me. And there we go. Okay, we don't need a whole lot. Now one of the things about working on unvarnished wood is you will raise the finish here, the wood will get moist and that's going to make everything stand up. So you don't really have much time to get your first coat down. You don't want to spend a lot of time reworking it. The more you play with it, the more it starts to swell. So just put on a, a light first coat. This is unthinned Liquitex basic acrylic tube. Noisy. Alright. And we'll just. Uh, Already got it on me. It does not take long. So what are these for? My sister D is an amazing artist. And she has to do her kitchen cabinets over. And she was looking something comparable or at least as unusual as the ones that she already has they're very expensive when done in ceramic so we came up with the idea to just do it on wood and save a lot of money and I would help because I love painting little things as you know after all you're well familiar with the rocks and I thought I was going to get going on those today, and I thought, ah, I need to get these off the table first. Uh, we started working on them last week, and uh, so now it's time to do something else. So, let's see. We don't want 
that mixing in with the red. So I think we're going to put some of this brown down first. What do I call this one? Ah, raw sienna. A nice basic warm brown. The nice thing about going right out of the tube is you can put just a drop down and if you need more you can add it but you're not wasting as much um, when you mix it up you've got to mix up really you need to know your stuff in terms of quantity of what's going to take if you end up with a unique color it's often hard to recreate just for one little bit of work so These all started out on screws, and then we discovered that it was a lot easier to work on them if we had something taller and easier to get in and out of, out of the uh, styrofoam. Like chopsticks. I always have chopsticks around. Or did. I think we just uh, went through them. Can you see what I'm doing? Not very well, huh? Look at this. There we go. A little better. Do my there. <laughs> Somebody says something. Completed all of the acrylic design. I'm going to clear coat everything with um, Krylon clear coat. Makes it nice and glossy, seals this, and as long as you don't build up more than a couple of coats, it doesn't get tacky too quickly. Some stuff um, looks really nice and it works fine, but exposure to what goes on in a kitchen usually renders it a little sticky over time and I didn't do it on cabinets but I did learn by doing little sculptures that I made specifically to decorate uh, like spice jars in the kitchen and mm -mm, the finishes attract dust after a while and grease and it's really hard to Keep it clean. dry and find another stick <laughs> and take it off that screw make it a lot easier to handle find out <laughs> after it dries. Mm 
Be careful of the bamboo splinters. Alright, let's take another one. And he experimented with different patterns and stuff. And uh, my methodology from having to knock out a lot of egg work <laughs> is create a pattern you like. I'll go ahead and repeat it for a few, at least a few of them. You get better usually as you do the same thing over and over again and you have some uniformity while well, everything's still remaining an original and uh, unique. Definitely get rid of that screw. Yep. I have to 
something that we can work with. Skill. <laughs> I don't know if I can break this. <laughs> that is going to be tricky. Rich, hello. Uh -huh. I have to get me some tools. <laughs> I don't have a toolbox anymore. And uh, I see it can be a problem. Exacto knife here, and over here with the garbage can. Yeah, you can see why people used to get these awesome bamboo toothpicks that were carved at the end and they were just so beautiful uh, it was like how did they do this and uh, i know how <laughs> well 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 let me just Better. Now you continue. Are we going to play spin the wheel now? Stamps. 
Yeah. There it is. On a shelf. So convenient. I fooled myself. It's very likely desktop audio and microphone together. I have it as a device a default. Is that better? Oh. No, it probably didn't make any difference at all, did it? I can turn it way down, I believe, right? Okay, is it? Okay, well. I'm not playing anything on desktop audio, so I can just turn that down to zero. That's only important or was important when I was playing my music. But I don't have that on this computer. So, we're okay. Okay, I need to do... this one. Let me take a look at my sister's. Hey, I found my breakfast bars today. Three boxes. I need the red for that. But in the meantime,
How are you feeling? Are you still sniffling or sneezing? Everybody over at the eye place is having uh, eye and nose problems. They were wearing glasses because they couldn't wear their um, their contacts today because <laughs> their eyes were bothering them. It's like those are just the sweetest people. That blew me away when they called me up to wish me, sing me happy birthday. Yes, we are moving on now that my studio is starting to develop. I have room. I've got my supplies out. I am happy. These are for my sister. Now... I need to, I'm so glad it only, if I could drop it, yeah, I better wash that. I want to use the blue and catch this one up. Still working on these. Oh yeah, I got invited to um, work on some clothing design. Like talk about something new. That is something I have not done. Well, that's very exciting. cooking in the package. Definitely a little on the green side. More green than blue. Yeah. Yeah. They're coming out cute. Like little mushrooms. dandy fan brush I hope I still make this um, Princeton Princeton I think it's Michael's well, maybe not this looks like it could be made in Canada I'll have to find out. This is a good one. It's lasted many years.
my painter to put the stuff in the jar on them. When they're painted, um, I put spray, clear spray on them, acrylic spray. Yeah. <laughs> I was wondering what you were talking about there for a second, but like, oh, okay. What is on this? I probably used this to stir glue or something. Okay, we do the dots last, dots in the center like that. Um, this um, skewer is not quite big enough. To hold the onto this. Doggy in the hole. I got to babysit those little puppy. Damn, she was cute. You'll see her, Rich. She'll be all over you. Dogs like you. Which is a good sign. little flat brush oh, oh. we don't want to get too crazy Crampy hand. Ew. To thin that out a little. 
Geology, cool. Just your basic first. Well, <laughs> what the planet's made of. Why earthquakes happen. Because things are changing now, you know. The Earth's core is not what they thought it was. And definitely not what metaphysical people thought it was. So how are you otherwise? Well, believe it or not, some of us actually study geology voluntarily and after school. call stay yes these are my sister Diana's we're doing 35 or something like that and she wants them to all be, you know, not, not all different, but, you know, same family. So these are all the colors to choose from. So I started these, and I'm limiting my palette uh, for this batch to this. So... I don't know if see classes study work it's your job right now God, I was so bad last night at bedtime. I did go to school, you know, Charlie. I even went further than you. I did not study Portuguese. I studied French which was useless at this point. I have no need of it. The point is, he's got 22 classes. And it sounds like all of them are voluntary at this point.
Well, it sounds like a well-rounded education, I would hope. So Oink, yes, my sister was um, wanting to replace her knobs and the ones that she wanted, you know, that were different and, and I'd see they were going between nine and $12 each and she needs like 35 to 42, something like that. Well, Charlie, you shouldn't be messing around the internet talking to us then. It sounds like you have work to do. Good thing your brain is young and active. So anyway, um, you know, these are not going to last the same way as ceramic knob is going to last, but then... By the time these go, she'll be tired of them anyway. So, it's like, okay. Well, you try it, Charlie. I'm out of school. It's not my job anymore. It's yours. Good luck. Oh, I don't know. There's a wood, you know. Um, and she, she likes this idea so much. She wants to consider and wants me to consider doing this as a job, like crafting these and putting them up for sale. It's like, D, you don't not understand what this is really going to take. It's not that simple. And, um. You know, there's a lot of things you have to consider when you start working on selling stuff as you learned yourself, right? But she'll have um, she'll have some really nice original art. All of these will be a little different, obviously. I had her choose the colors. And it's like I can do anything I want. I just have to stay in the colors. Palette. When you start doing this stuff with the public, it's like all those soaps I made, you know? No matter how many different things you offer, people want something that you don't have up for sale. And they are like, well, I'd like that, but it's like, yeah, well, how many of those are you going to buy? You can't make just one. Well, it sounds like he's new. New people are usually a little, you know, on the shy side until they get to know people. There. 
he can be nice though. So you know him? No, where Charlie, you talking to yourself? Yeah, that's pretty much typical for welcome to the new school. Well, you should be too busy, busy studying to notice these things. Okay, hurry back, Link. Oh, the red's going to look good on that. Where are you from, Noob? Any particular reason? Brazilians I've known actually were in courts and amethyst. Oh, that's right. Oh, from Poland. Well, that's right. The 12 year old. How are things going on in your household now? Welcome back. I'm going to wash my palette bowl. Okay, and now look at this nice warm red. This is called Cadmium Red Medium Hue. 
It's called a U because they can't actually use cadmium in acrylic formulas, even if it was safe. Ah, come here. Stay there. Cream here. And since it's not really cadmium, it's a little more transparent than I want. So we could be going back over it a second time after it dries. bit much on that. Let's try that again. gonna take a different tactic there. I really want this red to show up. So brilliant. I need some hand cream. My hands are too slippery. You're not studying. because I'm not interested, frankly. I'm busy, I'm interested in what I'm doing right now. I'm not interested in the new guy in school and going through all the, all over again at this point. So, not indulging it. I have other friends here.
Yep. So, Oinkness, onto something I'm interested in. I'm not interested in 16 year old boys. I'm going to bring up something irrelevant to Oinkness if she's here. Oink, where did you get that idea? Hey, Dino. Happy spring, man. It's finally springing. I'll talk about anything that's like I'm talking about. I'm not interested in what's going on in school. You already came in saying you've got all this studying to do, so study. I'd like to be with the adults today, if you know what I mean. What am I doing? I'm painting. I love it. The only complaint right now is the warm, but that is because we've got an interesting heating system that uses the hot water. Whenever the temperature outside hits 60 degrees, it turns off and the water just goes right to the faucet. Otherwise, it goes through the whole apartment building and it heats the building. Well, Rich is trying to remind you politely that as the number one mod, along with Oinkness, And they're here to make sure that I am not talking about or we don't have things going on. You know, we have had months of you filling up the chat and every time Rich comes back, the whole page is nothing but you, Charlie. So I'd like to, and I'm telling you, it's limited. We've already heard what's going on. You've got a new kid in school. I don't want to hear about your thoughts about him. I, I already know you're supposed to be studying. And the fact that you're interacting with someone who I'm letting sit in the chat, who's not supposed to be in the chat because this is for mature audiences, 18 and up. Hint, hint. It says that before you say okay to the video. So anybody in here under 18 is here by the grace of me not kicking your little asses out for any reason. That's true. It's not a chat room. <clears throat> it's a video room with a chat component. And I'm very clear on what the subject is today. Knobs. So don't be one. Oh, Dino, wait until you see the windows, man. 
windows, two big windows, well, you know, giant picture window there, picture window there, big window in the kitchen. Yes, we went from the cockadoodles to knobs. I've been calling them cupboard pulls, but then when I had to write about today's um, stream, I thought what well, oh, was short for that. It's like, ah, knobs. So we have knobs. So how are you? It's been a while. I'm so glad to be done moving. And I will have friends helping me find additional shelves so I can uh, fine tune my studio. Hello, John. How are you? These are for my sister. The next time she's over, we'll be making more of these. But I wanted to get these done before I start doing the rocks again. I am psyched about doing the rocks. Now, this is not about painting, particularly. But it'd be nice to find some of these wooden poles in a larger variety of uh, shapes. I think she's going to like these. Her next trip up here, we're going out for seafood. And then coming back and painting. Oh, did I miss something? You want a pride one? A door, a, a pole? These are cabinet poles for her kitchen. Cabinets. Well, she was asking me if I'd want to do this, like, you know, make them to sell. And I'm pretty much, no. <laughs> it's a lot of work. And you don't get your um, money back in time. I don't mind doing it as a personal project, though, you know, for a loved one. But these things get tedious. Especially if you come out with a line and you have to make the same ones over and over and over. And even though they're all, you know, unique, they're still, you know, it's boring. I like to do different things. That's the cool thing about having, you know, a studio. So we can do different things in the same room. Oh, is that it? Well, that's what, I, I don't know, Diana has to think about it. She is a very busy person. 
and um, I just don't see this as being all that profitable. You know, ceramic ones top out at 12 bucks each. And ceramic ones, I would be willing to do if I had a kiln. Yeah, I'm not I'm set up for that. But the ceramic ones, you know, you put a lot of time into, but then they last a long, long time. The wooden ones, the paint jobs, are going to only last for, you know, a few years before you have to spray them again. Charlie has to have a break now. <laughs> well, if you want a pride rock, I can do that. We'll see. Um, we'll see how they progress. You know, I've got a whole lot of rocks to paint. We're going to want lots of different kinds of rocks. And I haven't done a rainbow one yet. I have done some cool ones. Matter of fact, Sizzle is the one that inherited a bunch of um, my more unusual ones. By the way, a DB is alive. I do not know how well he is, but he is alive. And I'm sure now because I sent him a greeting card and he did open it. So that's a good sign. Like, come on, DB. I know Twitch is a real bitch for him. His internet, where he is in Texas, is really splotchy at best. But at least I know he's alive. I took my glasses off so I could see this, but I can't see the chat. I need to know more about these brownies that you made. Brownie waffles. Oh, good work. Because those look so good. It looks like... it. They were good enough to maybe never make a traditional brownie again. Oh, Rich. <laughs> How much is 3,600 seconds? I do like the water cleanup, but the stuff dries fast. Acrylics, that is.
Oh yeah, overcooked. That's why I'm not willing to try brownies in the uh, air fryer, even though you can bake a bunch of different things in it. It's like, nah, brownies are too tricky. One minute too long, and they're disgusting. So one box, how many, you used a mini waffle iron, right? So um, how many did you get out of that? Because I would think that you'd get quite a few. I'd have to see the mini waffle iron. Oh, well, sugar free would be great to try. I didn't even know they had that. Oh, interesting. Um, okay, they harden. Do you stick them in a plastic container? All right, I'll check. That's probably where I could get the mini waffle iron as well, right? I remember seeing some mini stuff. Um, I was down in York at the time. And Judy got a miniature hamburger grill thing. It's like make one hamburger. I took one look at it and I said, that's too small. I never eat a hamburger that small. That's like a McDonald's. Nah. I make a burger. Uh, that's not going to fit in that. So, uh, yeah, I don't think she ever ended up using it successfully. Yeah, that's what I would do. Oh, I'm sure. I don't have any waffle maker now. I lost my waffle maker in the divorce. I don't know who has it now. It's a good thing I got plenty of this stuff. We'll go over the lighter color.
Now, Rich, I was disappointed to see that two of the movies I had planned for your entertainment and mine are leaving Amazon Prime at the end of the month. It's like, ah, oh, damn. Not that we won't have a million other movies, you know. Like, little known but amazing classics are The Gods Must Be Crazy. One and two. Because one story is nothing like the second. Brilliant movies. And very funny. Uh -huh. Ouch. All right, we have enough left. I can keep myself from stabbing myself. We'll do good. Don't get swampy. Ouch. This is a bad stick. I made it too sharp by accident. Works well there. All right, we're gonna have to thin that, definitely. All right. We do not want water on the ferrule. Let's be sincere. All right. I think I've done enough damage to them for a day. Well, if you can, you can. If you can't, you can't. It's not like we're going to be running out of movies or things to do. Okay. 
I am gonna wash this out. Dump this where it belongs in the sink. So, I am making a cup of tea. I'm going to, um, yeah, move that over. my favorite brushes. All right, we did something besides doodles. Now I will probably be coming back and working these a little bit more, but uh, not today. We made progress. Now, while I was out, I went to the doc, the doll, the doctor store, the dollar store, where things are a dollar twenty-five now. Except these, these were four for a dollar, and they were marked that way, so they had to charge them that way. I got four bags of seeds, which of course was crazy because I did not get four pots or the dirt to put in the pots. That will have to come some other way. But I got sage, cilantro, basil, and chives because all of them do very well in pots. They smell really good when they're growing. They're handy to have when you're cooking. And God knows I have the windows for it. So uh, yeah, it's time to grow. I would be doing lettuce, but um, lettuce is more tender. It likes cooler weather. And these windows are gonna be roasting. So uh, I've got, I've got uh, succulents in there right now. Thanksgiving cactus and aloe. So that's that's it for the moment. Okay, so let's see. Let me put this away. I'll put this away too before I knock them over. Okay, so what shall we work with now? Um, I can't do any of the sanding right now. That would not be a smart thing to do. But oh my, what we have here. We do have 
this I was working on. I wasn't done working on it, so we cannot finish painting that. That needs sanding and filling. Oh, coffee. I I was seduced by the smell of coffee in the grocery store today. And I bought a coffee. I bought a, a pound of coffee. And it smelled so good. And I opened it up, and it was like, yes. And it made a crap cup of coffee. I think it's the way I'm making the coffee. I just, it doesn't work anymore. Okay, here's one I was working on. This is from North Carolina, I think. It was when I was doing the lichen, the lichen-like rooftops for putting these out in the woods. We have some that are almost done. Or we just left them mid process. This is sanded, waiting for paint. This um, was a, qu a cliff dwelling <laughs> I was working on. Very strange. It's gonna get stranger yet. Now, as you can see, these are all different sizes. I had, I was doing miniatures and I was doing some big enough to put to use as paperweights and actually some of these like even though this is not very big it is it is a heavy rock this is a good paperweight right here but I was thinking these strange That's my first stone one, I think. No, can't be. I've been doing it for too many years. Probably just forgot about it. And this one, it's really hard to see, but the shutters have little hearts on them. Little teeny weeny hearts that I did with just like a couple of hairs and a brush. And let's see. Is that it over there? Oh, we have this one. This one needs repair, I think. Yeah, it does. We're still working on that one. I hope. Yeah, we've got some large, strange rocks here. Uh, here's another one. This is a heavy, a heavy rock. Hmm. And that is it for the ones that are sanded. The rest are being worked on. Oh, no, we have these. How could I forget? Do 
gingerbread houses. And these are just the small ones. So we have quite, quite a few to paint. And we're not even getting to the ones that are, are going to be still carved. And a pile of them just need sanding. So some of these are just waiting for uh, the detail work. Oh yeah, I remember this one. I did not like that yellow. I remember saying, all right, you gotta dry so I can paint over you. It's now dry. Uh, that came out nice, a nice little chimney. Oh, yes. Ah, oh, isn't that cute? This is kind of gingerbready. But I put gold in it. I carry it away. And this one, oh, I, you know, they're just painting. We made a stained glass window here. It's inset. Strange rock gives us some strange ideas. And then our cute little gingerbreads. That looks like some of them could have been um, I could have built these up a little more. And why didn't I? Oh, I think I just wanted that curved bottom. So these are early stages. What you see as white might not be white later. And vice versa on the brown. So we have five. Eight, nine, ten, fifteen, twenty-one rocks. Twenty-one rocks. Mm. That's not counting all these. How many do we have? Jeez. Let's see. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty. Okay, so we've got 21 rocks ready to paint. We've got 24 ready to sand and build on. And then an unknown number of rocks in bags and a container in the great outdoors. So we have lots of rocks. So we will be showing um, the whole process from finding the rock. That'd be funny. Take you on a walk with me. Let's go find a rock. Well, that would be a very short walk because I walked right outside of my door and I found these two rocks. Now, these two rocks offhand would not represent great material, especially because they don't stand up on their own. Well, actually, that one does a little. Um, that's going to be a tall one, and this one needs some back filler. 
to stand up like that so that's the the peak of the roof right there so they obviously need filler to establish their details but these are the ones the new ones from here my, at my new address and we're not um, we're not hard up the rocks Oh, there's another one. I somehow didn't count. <laughs> All right. Yep, we, we're doing good with, with this. We've got bottles to work on. Godiva, Ocean, Chambord. Here's a um, a vase, a bud vase that I was working on. I wasn't sure where I was going to um, finish this. I think I ran out of my putty. So I have to see if the putty that I have is going to be compatible with this so I can finish it and paint it. And then I'll have a little miniature flower vase. It'll hold a flower. So we could Go ahead and give this a coat. But I don't know, it looks so boring on the back. I think we're gonna put this back in the sand pile that is to be sanded. Yeah, these are last year's or the year before, I know. These are the future um gingerbread houses but then i moved to a place where it was too cold to work on them in the winter so no and this oh this looks like just needs a little bit of sanding it's otherwise definitely done but i see that right there is not acceptable for me back into the sand pile Everything else, though, has some paint on it, which means we're done sanding for sure. Now, I just do not like the color. This was when I was experimenting with finishes. We were messing around actually with faux finishes. And um, I just wanted to see what this hard gold would do on top of acrylic. Very shiny, but yeah, not quite what I want. This one is nearly finished. It needs landscaping though, that's for sure. Ah, they're gonna have a hidden bedroom with the shade half down. All right. Rich, are you working in the morning? I don't want to miss you. Yep, we need to do some final coats of paint here. Well, wow. 
Oink, are you back yet? So Rich, this coffee I got is supposed to be a really good coffee and it smelled really good and I think it's my my filter. By the time it gets through that filter, it just tastes like crap. It tastes like diner coffee. The strength is there, but it's, uh, I don't know. It's got this staleness. So I, I made first a cup, you know, you put the water in and it goes down, but it doesn't make a cup, so you put more water in. I decided that's a mistake. So I threw that cup away after like trying to drink. It was like, uh, no, no, I'm not going to force myself to drink something if it's not great. So I threw it away and I made another cup. This time I just ran enough through it and then I didn't add any extra water to see if that would be better. Not really. Like, ugh. so I need to actually get a, an actual, some kind of a coffee maker. And this one I was looking at on Amazon for 60 bucks is like 90 something in the grocery store. Like, I don't know why anybody would buy it in the grocery store. Everybody who shops should know that that's not the right price. But I think they're, they're making a push for smaller counter space. So they're making a narrow, narrow version that doesn't hold like, you know, two quarts of water, holds one or two cups. And they're in different colors, so they fit more environments, I guess. Nevertheless, any counter space is too much, so it has, I just am agonizing over this decision. Like I make, as if I was drinking coffee all day long. Because I just want a damn good cup. If it was just one cup. Diana said she went back to the French press. She said she doesn't have much problem with um, grinds, but I did see one that was advertised to make just one cup at a time to, in a travel cup, and it, it's got an extra filter thing in it so it doesn't leave any sediment, which I like because if I drink some sediment, I'm definitely going to be out there spinning on speed the way I get off on caffeine. But I think you will love this coffee. Uh, going by the smell of it, we just have to find a way to, better way of brewing it. And if I drank it all the time, I would just get a, a standard like Mr. Coffee. Just the drip is my favorite kind. Always got good coffee that way. Don't know why we, it's such a drag now. And again, I guess because I, I don't drink it all the time now. And I can't, I just don't want to give up the counter space for a piece of shit. Or something that's really big. I've got the air fryer up there, and that's a big, big amount of space, as you saw. I got a few big comfort taters, and. Uh, Let's see what else. Oh, I got some fresh celery and carrots. I got some good veg. Thinking about it makes me hungry. Unfortunately, thinking about it doesn't give me energy to make it. <laughs> now I got all kinds of shit. I, I'm just, every time I go to the store now, I'm just like getting little fill-in stuff so that, yeah, let's cook. There's a bunch of Asian recipes. When I say Asian, I'm just collectively saying because I okay, guess so Indo-Asian. I'm not sure what the right because there's some of it's Thai, some of it's Korean, um, some of it is Chinese, some of it is Japanese. It's like a little here and a little there, but they have some ingredients that they have in common. Then I watch some some people do some taste tests on some of the stuff. It's like oh, the saltiest one is the ones available in most grocery stores. The one that is really high end, basically, I'm going to have to go to a specialty store to find that. So some say it's um, like oyster sauce. Oyster sauce, they said it's worth buying the better one because it has more complex 
flavor where the one that is commercial, like Panda, is um, the flavor mostly seems to come from salt. So, or that's what it tastes like to them. It's like, okay, before I waste any money, that's good to know. Because you know it's going to be salty just because it's seafood. But it shouldn't be tasting like salt. It should taste like some good, you know, flavors of fish sauce. And apparently that's one of the um, magical flavorings that go into the soups and sauces and all that. Like, ah, oh, we must try that. Like, I'm getting all excited about cooking new stuff. Anyway, would you like to um, bid in a few minutes? I'm just waiting for Oink to come back so I could say I'll be back later. I went so long last night that uh, cleaning up and everything that I never did go back to stream. No, I didn't. I had to think for a second. Did I stream last night? No. Well, I know that isn't right. Oh, something's not working on my Fitbit. I was all over the place. I was marching in place. I put in a lot of steps. And it's suggesting that I only did 422 steps. We well, you know that's not true because I went to the grocery store and I definitely did extra steps. I also paced for a half an hour waiting for the taxi. Please don't die. I can't afford to change you now. Ding, ding. It doesn't even say how I know it didn't work right. It doesn't show my sleep last night. Why isn't that working? I charged it. That's depressing. This is Wednesday, right? It's yesterday, it's like it didn't exist on my Fitbit. That's really weird. My phone, my, my phone was all right. My um, clock stopped working this morning while I was in the shower. Apparently that's around the same time this stopped working. Cause I got some steps and then it didn't even register my sleep. I have a cup of tea. Believe it. 
Well, that's disappointing. Such is life. Oh, I'm gonna see you back yet. How quiet it is. Okay. 